this is prayer meeting and um, we are here once more to give God praise, honor and glory that is due to him. In verse 22 of the same second Samuel 7, the scripture says, Wherefore thou art, O Lord God, wherefore thou art, O Lord God, for there is none like thee, neither is there any God beside thee, according to all that we have heard with our ears. So I said the, the, the simple topic, as we might, you know, um, not really simple because prayer is very powerful, but the topic is prayer. And we have read the ending of David's prayer of appreciation. At the ending we see um, the man after God's own heart was really settling down to thank God for all that he had done and um, to build a house that will last forever. But um, I just want us to turn the spotlight or the major spotlight on ourselves and what the Lord will do for us. You know, the question is, have we settled this in our mind that we are called to stand apart as Seventh-day Adventist Christian? The question is, prayer is the key. The question is, do we know that prayer is the key in the end of faith that unlock heaven's storehouse where are treasured the boundless resources of omnipotence, meaning the all-powerful. We must understand that the hand of faith is Jesus Christ. We must understand that the hand of faith that is being spoken of here is Christ. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the begotten Son of God. In the book Christian Service, it says, he is always at our right hand to support, sustain, uphold, and cheer. Mm -hmm. We must by faith in Christ Jesus cling to the promises of God. And remember, it says in Corinthians, all his promises are yea. In to include the word yes. And uh, um, the, the meaning of yeah is a very, very powerful sentiment, especially um, when we come to give God thanks and praise for his loving kindness and his tender mercy. In, in the handout that I, I gave, um, if you look on it, it says, it's, It is only at the altar of God that, ca that we can kindle our, our tapers with divine fire. Uh, let me go over again as we catch up. It is only at the altar of God that we can kindle our tapers with divine fire. It is only divine light that will reveal, that will reveal the littleness, the incompetence of human ability, and give clear views of the perfection and purity of Christ. It is only as we behold Jesus that we desire to be like him. Only as we view his righteousness that we hunger and thirst to possess it. And it is only as we ask in earnest prayer that God will grant us our heart's desire. God's messenger, God's messengers must tarry long with him. If they would have success in their work. The story is told of an old Longshire, Longshire woman who was listening to the reasons that her neighbors gave to, for their minister's success. They spoke of his gifts, of his style of address, of his manners. Nay, said the old woman, I will tell you what it is. Your man is very thick with the Almighty. 
meaning the pastor. When men are devoted as Elijah was and possesses the faith that we had, God will reveal himself as he did then. When men plead with the Lord as did Jacob, the result that were seen then will again be seen. Power will come from God in answer to the prayer of faith. Because the life of Jesus was a life of constant trust, sustained by continual communion. His service for heaven was without failure or faltering, daily beset by temptation, constantly opposed by the leaders of the people. Christ knew that he must strengthen his humanity by prayer in order to be a blessing to men. He must commune with God from him obtaining energy, perseverance, and steadfastness. But it never really ends there. In Galatians, if just if you might be querying, in Galatians 3 and verse 16, Galatians 3 and verse 16, Galatians, Ephesians, Scripture says, Now to Abraham and his seed were the promises made. He, he said not unto the seeds as of many, but as of one and to thy seed, which is Christ. Verse 26 says, as we skip it a little, says, For ye are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. Are we there? Mm -hmm. For as many of you as have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female. We are all one in Christ Jesus. And if he be Christ, then are he Abraham's seed. And he is according to the promise. All of Christ's promises are yes. Or yea, as I just said just now. But we have to ask ourselves the question. Over and over. If we are settled, if our minds are settled, that we know that we are called to stand apart. And the answer to the question is that prayer is the key in the hand of faith. And it says that we'll unlock the heavens to Once upon a time I thought I, I read this text over and over. Um, well, it's not a text, it's, it's in the pen of inspiration, in many of the books called To Stand Apart, one of our devotional, and In Step to Christ. And I never, you know, I, I went back to and I was looking on this. And I said, but wait, this is not saying about in my hand of faith. This is talking about in Christ. And the poor, poor word was there, it was unlocked. Amen? And um, we always use the word open. But the word in the, in the original writing say unlock. Because many times things are unlocked. And we don't know it is open, right? When you put the youth, so and many times when we go and you know, we, we are out of, how is it, man, you know, you forget your key. And when you go and try the door, the door is unlocked. How sweet it feels. Oh sweet, somebody, somebody leave it unlocked. Amen. Even sometimes after we make nice over, we leave the door unlocked. But it was a happy feeling when you realize, when you try it and found it unlocked. So pride is the key in the hand of faith that unlock heaven's storehouse where are treasured the boundless 
resource save of omnipotence. Well, um, I don't think that's on your um, your on your, your writing, you know. But um, and and in every resource is of omnipotence. Whatever we need is in the hand of God. Amen. Amen. And through Christ we can go and obtain it. You know, and um, 2 Corinthians 11 and verse 22 tells us something. And then we can go with that and then we will get on our knees in a little while to pray. 2 Corinthians 11 and verse 22. It says, And there's a lot, a lot here. You know, we could probably... Let's start at 20. For ye suffer, if a man bring you into bondage, if a man devour you, if a man take off you, if a man exalt himself, if a man smite you on the face, I speak as concerning reproach, as though we had been weak, albeit wherein soever any is bold, I speak foolishly, I am bold also. 22 say, are, my, are they Hebrews? So I am. So am I. Are they Israelites? So am I. Are they the seed of Abraham? So am I. And um, the, 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 this text really, um, I pray that we will go back and look on it again. Second Corinthians 11 and verse 22. Because we are talking about believing in Christ. And um, Paul was saying to them, you know, are they Hebrews? So am I. And you know it, it is dealing with his suffering because you know you know those that live godly will suffer persecution. You know, but the Bible tells us that the Lord will deliver, deliver us out of them all. And I have some experience I could tell you tonight of how God deliver me. Amen. But most of the time, what happens is that we 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 want to look on ourselves as a different sort. But here, the the the, 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 the man of God is saying, "Are they Hebrews?" So am I. Are they Israelites? So am I. Amen. Are they seed of Abraham? So am I. Amen. Amen. And there are a lot more here to, to say, but um, you know, I leave that alone because I want to go to um Jeremiah 17 and verse 17. Jeremiah 17 and verse 17. That text probably you have read several times, but Let's just look on it again because we are going to go on our knees now to pray. He says, Be not a terror unto me. Thou art my hope in the day of evil. We're going one more. It's 18. Let them be confounded that persecute me. But let not me be confounded. Let them be dismayed. But let not me be dismayed. Bring upon them the day of evil and destroy them with double destruction. Amen. I guess you remember our scripture reading. For the whole Lord of of us, God of Israel, have revealed to thy servant, saying, I will build thee a house. Therefore art thy servant found in his heart to pray this prayer unto thee. And now, o Lord God, thou art that God, and thy words be true. And thou hast promised this goodness unto thy servant. Therefore, let it please thee to bless the house of thy servant, that it may continue forever before thee. For thou, Lord, hast spoken it, and with thy blessing, let the house of thy servant be blessed forever. And I want you to probably, the, the, the closing part, or, you know, make it personal. Amen? Because I believe this is what we want for every one of us homes. 
or every one of us, wherever we live, every one of us, house. Amen? Amen. And then we, you know, I'm just reminding you again that prayer is the key in the hand of faith. And just a reminder to tell us that the hand of faith that we are talking about here is Christ. Amen? It is Amen. Him, Him, we move, live, and have our very being. Amen? Amen. And so we let, let us hold on to Prince Emmanuel. Amen? Yeah. Yeah, as it says, um, faith in Christ Jesus. And we must have, we must, by faith in Christ Jesus, cling to the promises of God. Amen? Amen. So as we come tonight, um, you know, there might be burdens. You know, but we will pray, believe in always. Because he says, whatsoever he pray, whatsoever he pray, his prayer believing, he will receive. Amen. Amen. So as we renew our effort, may God be with us. Amen.